So we've just arrived here at our Airbnb in Otaru, which is about 25 minutes away from the race course in Tainé. We're gonna have a pretty chill afternoon and uh, have an early dinner and get to bed early. So I'm primed and uh, ready for the race. I'll also spend some time making sure I've got all the required gear for tomorrow and just making sure my kit's ready and I'm happy with everything. And um, yeah, just take it easy get my head in the right space for tomorrow. So really looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, can't wait to go. So there's been a last minute change to some of my race kit. I know last week I talked about some of the Salomon shoes that I might wear in the race. I had a couple of issues with these throughout the week. I wasn't able to get the quick lacing system to kind of uh, a comfortable place. It was either too tight or too loose and um, I didn't really want to be readjusting things throughout the throughout the race. Uh, and I also had some worries that the cushioning wouldn't be enough, like my feet would get sore, you know, towards the end. Um, I have had a lot of success in the Hoka ATR6s before. They're kind of the shoes that I've run in a lot and I just use as my walking around pair now that they're kind of dead. And I had an opportunity to buy some uh, throughout the week. Well, it was actually an, Earth Day, uh, an early birthday present um, from my wife, Yuko. So I jumped at the chance to pick up a pair of these, which are the ATR 7s. And I know it's probably not good to try some new stuff on race week, but I have run in these um, five or six times now uh, since I bought them and they're pretty similar to the old ATR6s so I'm pretty confident that things will be fine and that I won't have any issues. Um, they're very comfortable and you know soft on the feet so I think for you know the longest race that I've done it's going to be a welcome uh, addition to, to my set of gear so I'm really happy with them and looking forward to trying them out. So we've just arrived up here at Tainé and we're waiting to get into the parking lot. Uh, I'm going to head over and check in and get set up and then uh, probably try and relax for about an hour or so until my race starts. There's a longer race on at 8 so I'll see some of my friends running that and then uh, yeah, wait until 9 for, for my race to get started. So a little bit nervous but pretty keen and uh, it should be a nice warm day out.
Okay, just left the aid station and uh, pre filled the bottles. And on my way again, so feeling good. Almost three hours though. I thought I'd be through there in two, but it's very steep, so let's go. Got this weird pain on the inside of my left quad, which I've never felt before in my life. Could be deep cramp or something like that, but I think it's going away, hopefully. But uh, just roll with it for now. I was lacking a bit of uh, liquids before I got to the aid station. I ran out pretty early, so uh, maybe I'm just a bit salt deficient, but I think I'm back on track. A massive boulder field. Both quads are cramping, calves are cramping. Not in good shape, but still moving forward. Still feeling okay. Let's go with a water bath. Honestly, these downhills are going for forever. It's tough, tough in the legs, but I think my quads have recovered a bit. Calves are okay, so I'm moving pretty quick. Feeling all right. Feeling good. Aid station up ahead. Get some coke, get some water, and uh, finish this off. Can't be cooked all the Feeling pains I've never felt before. Quads and everything's cramping, groin, calves. It's the hardest thing I've ever done. Whew, but also kind of fun. Almost done. Let's keep going. groin's cramping and my calves oh my god I can barely run I think there's no more hills left I'm pretty sure Stretch. Cruel twist of fate. One more climb. Okay, the real final stretch.